war rages around Gaza's hospitals with desperate conditions inside. Israel's military says it will help evacuate babies from the main hospital. Saudi Arabia and other Muslim countries call for an immediate end to Israel's military operations in Gaza. And U.S. House Republicans propose a spending bill aimed at averting a looming government shutdown. Russia launched missile strikes on Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, and the surrounding region for the first time in more than seven weeks, Ukrainian officials said. Now, Ukraine also says it shot down 19 of the 31 drones launched by Russian forces overnight. The strikes reportedly damaged several buildings. Ukrainian authorities warned of renewed attacks from Russia on cities and its power grid as the country nears winter. Pope Francis dismissed Texas Bishop Joseph Strickland, one of his fiercest critics in the U.S. The Vatican announced the rare move in a statement that follows an investigation earlier this year into the administration of the Tyler, Texas diocese. Catholic media said the review also looked at the handling of the diocese's financial affairs. Strickland has become a leading voice among conservatives in the U.S. that oppose many of the Pope's reforms. Iceland has declared a state of emergency and told thousands of people that they need to leave their homes after a series of earthquakes raised fears of a volcanic eruption. The Icelandic Met Office is worried that large amounts of magma or molten rock is spreading underground. The increased seismic activity has already prompted the closure of the Blue Lagoon, a geothermal spa and one of Iceland's main tourist attractions. And now thousands of residents have had to evacuate from the nearby town of Grindavik. Iceland has seen a number of volcanic eruptions in recent years. This one, though, is being treated much more seriously than those other events. The authorities in Iceland have warned that there could be a major volcanic eruption within hours or days in the southwestern region, an area that's famous for its blue lagoons. A state of emergency is in force in the area, and more than 3,000 residents of the town of Grindavik have spent a second night in temporary accommodation after being evacuated. Millions of people are celebrating Diwali today, the Hindu festival of lights. This year, the celebrations have led to concerns about air quality, including in Delhi, where residents have been urged not to let off firecrackers to avoid worsening the city's air pollution. The father of the Liverpool footballer, Luis Diaz, has been speaking for the first time about his kidnap by a rebel group in Colombia. Police say that four people have been arrested. Luis Manuel Diaz and his wife were taken captive two weeks ago by the left-wing National Liberation Army. In an emotional press conference, he spoke about the ordeal. A lot of quite difficult horseback riding, lots of mountains, rain, too many insects. I couldn't sleep peacefully. It wasn't easy to sleep in those 12 days. Although they treated me well, I was not comfortable. I missed everything, my family, my children, my father, my sisters.